Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to my messy workshop. Today we're going to build another project um, from a pattern from Steve Good. And we're going to make this 11-sided basket. And it's made out of scrap oak. And uh, stick around and I'll show you how I built it. Again, I've taken some scrap wood, glued it together, planed and sanded it to a quarter of an inch, covered it with painter's tape, and glued my pattern onto the wood, or onto the painter's tape. I've also drilled the holes where there were indicated drilled holes. I used a sixteenth of an inch bit. Now I'm going to cut out the outer part of it, and then we'll go ahead and cut out the individual pieces. Alright, we have the outside cut out. Now I'm going to cut the first ring. There's the first ring done. Now I'll go on to the second. There's the second ring. Now I'll go on and cut the third ring. Third ring done. Now I'll go on to the fourth and final ring. There's the fourth and final ring. Now all I have to do is take the pattern off and the painter's tape off, uh, touch up with some sandpaper and maybe if there's any fuzzies anywhere, and then I'll put it together. All right, I have all my pieces sanded. It didn't take much sanding because that blade does a real nice job. But they're all sanded. The pattern is off of it. And now I'm, an assembly, uh, I'm going to assemble it. Again, I'm using Aline's uh, tacky glue. I have real good luck with that. It doesn't interfere with any finish I put on it. And all it takes is the peaks on this match up to the peaks on that one. And it, we just glue it there and keep on building till it's all assembled. So I'll just put a spot of tacky glue on each of these points. And again, you don't need very much. It just takes a tiny little drop. And you just line them up. Put a little pressure on it for just a second. And move on to the next one. One spot I've got way too much glue. It doesn't take very much at all.
Okay. I'll put a little weight on that for a little bit. And we'll wait for it to dry. And we'll put some lacquer on it. Put a felt bottom on it. And our basket will be done. Well, I've cut a piece of sticky felt. And now I'm going to put that on the bottom of the basket. As soon as I can get the... the paper off the back. That seems to be the hardest part. And there we go. It's finished. Well that was a pretty nice scroll saw project. It's relatively easy to make. Uh, you can get the pattern for it over at Steve Good's website which is www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com Steve has a lot of good patterns over there and uh, they're all free. Again, thanks for watching my video. If you would, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you'd like to leave a comment, I reply to all the comments that are left. If you'd like to email me, my email address is right here. It's Paul's Messy Workshop at gmail.com. Again, thanks for watching my video.